this is Rebecca Salamone with Alabama Horse Talk, and I'm here today with Richard Mulroy of Big Tex Trailers in Pelham, Alabama, and he's going to be going over some trailering safety tips for us. Richard? All right. We're going to try and make everybody have a, a good, safe uh, horse travel, and on the uh, first thing we want to do is constantly, uh, and it, you want to check it two or three times before you start driving, on your coupler, you want to see that you have the pin and its latch, and the best thing, if a trailer sits a lot, uh, spray some WD-40 or some lithium, white lithium grease, and the reason lithium's good is it doesn't dry out in the sun, and that'll keep that uh, coupler easy to attach when you put it on the ball and when you lock it down. Always check your chains. Chains are super important because if it ever accidentally comes off the ball, the chains are going to keep it pulling forward and it won't uh, zigzag and try and turn over on you. You'll be able to get it slowed down and stopped. On the plug on the trailer, make sure that you check that when you put it in uh, and snap it in there, that it actually locks down. It's got a little knuckle on it and keeps it from vi uh, vibrating out so that you know that the um, lights and everything are going to make a good contact on the electrical. Make sure before you drive off, most of the things we replace at our store is the jack and people forget to crank it all the way up and the first thing happens is they tear the jack or the nose wheel off. So make sure you always have that at its height. Look underneath. If your big six inch metal wheel is going to drag, go ahead and take the pin off and that way you won't, like you go up an incline, you won't peel it off. Next thing you want to uh, keep uh, in mind, if your trailer has brakes, this breakaway system needs to thread through into the chain and that's an emergency breakaway so if it look, comes off the ball it will pull the emergency cord and lock up the brakes and your horse will just come to a stop in the trailer you won't have it freewheeling down the highway. I have a question on that Richard. Yep. Does that have a battery charge to make yes, that Yes it work? actually uh, if your truck has a hot lead coming out of, it's supposed to have a hot lead coming out of your truck and the battery that's on the trailer is supposed to recharge as you pull it okay. and so it is uh, supposed to recharge so that it is charged. But do you need to check used. that charge before you... You need to check it by pulling the cord and then trying to move the trailer forward with the vehicle and the brakes will be locked up. If the battery's dead, then you can just roll free and okay. you know it's put a, put a new battery. You don't have to change the system. Okay. Thanks for explaining yep. that. All right. Uh, then the next thing we want to get to is the axles and the tires. The biggest uh, hazard that everybody has, especially in the summer, they travel with underinflated tires and they always wear bad on the inside. Most people put car tire pressure 30 to 33 pounds. Your trailer tires are at 50 pounds. Uh, also, they heat up really fast when they're underinflated, so now you have blowouts more uh, exaggerated in the summer because they just can't take the heat. Also, if you get new tires, don't put air in them, put nitrogen. Nitrogen does not expand, heat has no effect on it. Uh, it also doesn't leak as much as regular oxygen and air. So anytime you buy new tires now, Costco, their services will actually come to your house, put the nitrogen in them, it keeps them cool, and the, the tire will not sweat anymore, so it, it doesn't eat it out on the inside. So put your tire pressure with nitrogen gas in it, you'll be amazed how much life you get out of the tires. And can you put the nitrogen in a used tire? Yes, you put it in a used tire and the people, when they come to your house, they'll drain the air out and, and then they'll put uh, uh, nitrogen back in it and you'll be amazed at how better the tire lasts and how better it works. Right. Oh yeah. And NASCAR uses it, that's why it's proven it works. Uh, check your lug nut. Always check the lug nuts every time you're gonna drive in case you have a loose one. Uh, tire pressure we talked about, and then once you're here, you want to do your service on the axles for the grease, the bearings, the brakes. You want to check that. All right. The main thing that uh, gets people after dark is lights. They just assume they all work. You have to assume they don't work. So before you ever drive off, uh, you want to check every light. Blinker, inside uh, work lights on the inside of the trailer, the load lights on the back, the brake lights, and also uh, for your headlights running. You want to see every light in the corners. Uh, it's a law. You have to have them on the corners too. So you want to make sure every light on the trailer is running so you're not surprised and you they can write you numerous tickets uh, by just seeing a light out. They write you tickets about brakes, breakaway, uh, your label on the trailer. There's all kinds of things they can write you a ticket if they can just pull you over. Go ahead. Uh, do you have to have a uh, tag on your trailer in Alabama? 
Yes, uh, you now have to have a, a trailer tag. Now, a lot of people have a farm exemption that you can just claim you're within 100 miles of the farm. And so there's a big lobby that protects uh, a lot of the agriculture. So just call DOT and find out how you fall under that roof. So there is an exemption for certain farm stuff, farm use. And, uh, but boat trailers so far don't have to have a tag. And there are some farm uh, agriculture exemptions too. When you're all done with your trailer, uh, checking it out, uh, getting ready to roll, uh, you want to make sure you load the animal last after you've checked everything on the trailer so that they're not in there with the heat the whole time you're, you're messing with checking out the trailer. You want to load the hor uh, horse and animal last so that they're ready to go as you're ready to go. Also, do not travel with the uh, horse able to stick his head out. Keep your screens up. Because uh, if you ever have a horse take a dragonfly or a wasp at 70 to 60 miles an hour, uh, the surgery cost on that, uh, you can buy a couple of trailers and two new horses. So do not travel with a horse letting his head hang out of the trailer. When you do stop, uh, give a rest. Make sure uh, you, you keep the horse out of there pretty quick. Uh, carry some water. And then you want to make sure you carry a lug nut wrench, a spare tire, and a way to get the chap... Uh, trailer jacked up either with a trailer aid that you can drive over or a jack. So just in terms of things of safety, if you'll check all those things twice, you'll do away a lot of your headaches when you're on the road and cut out some hazards when you're after hours and you can't get any help. So hope that's been helpful and uh, and if you ever have anything, uh, just call Big Tech's Trailers and tell them we'll try and get you some answers. But we really appreciate y'all uh, letting us give you a little pointers and tips on your trailer. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thanks, Rebecca.